go from back then, driving a few, just trying to give you some uh, information on stuff that you need as a driver. When you're out here on the road, especially you new guys that have never done this before. Uh, basic supplies. Always carry you about a seven day. If you're doing over the road, always carry you a seven day supply of clothes. Always keep that in mind. You never know. You got to so many clothes, you don't have time to wash your clothes. Also, food in your truck, peanut butter, chocolate, keep a candle in your truck. Make you get in some of these areas out west or up north in the wintertime when it get cold and your truck break down. You got that candle burning in your truck, you'll not freeze. That candle will keep heat generating in your truck. Um, now, for me, I'm doing flatbed, so I can quite a few things. Gloves, work gloves with me, a broom and dust pan, clean up the inside of my tractor. I, uh, I keep chains, as you can see back here. My chains, my ladder, my uh, 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 my winches. I see, of course, you see my broom to sweep off my flatbed if I need to. My tarps, I need to. I also got edge protectors. I got straps in my, my side box. Keep my dunnage. You're gonna need your dunnage. You're gonna need that to put certain material on from being flat on the flatbed because that helps me get, get up on it with a forklift and pick it up. Uh, you see the straps are on the whole side of the trailer. You need the straps also. And that's very important. I see some guys the tarp they load, they forget the strap the bag on the load. And when they turn the corner, it all falls off the truck because you never strapped it. Get about the strap. Also, same with the chains. You gotta do that. Also, in my supply, you make sure you guys got a triangle reflectors in your truck and a fire extinguisher. DOT requires that. If you do not have that in your truck, that's a fine. That's a $500 fine. Just for not having that in your truck. So make sure you keep that in your truck. Also, keep a tool bag with me for tools for minor repairs that I can do. You know, myself to save myself money some of these things you're going to learn to do on your own if you ain't got that much money you're going to learn how to fix stuff yourself instead of calling a roadside service out you always come out and do stuff with you uh, always carry extra fifth wheel grease a fifth wheel lube uh, uh, what else I carry uh, fuses I carry extra lights for my tractor in case I need, you know, uh, my lights go out on my truck. Uh, I want to show y'all, I got lubricant, I keep lubricant, I keep oil, I keep windshield washing it. I really don't want my, my box, but I guess I, it's a little junky, but hey, I keep my supplies. I keep tape, I keep hand cleaner in here. Uh, WD-40. That helps out with your fifth wheel too when you're trying to slide the fifth wheel in the trail if you guys got vans. It helps out with the trail. My reflectors, tool bag, I got my winch bar for my, for my, uh, my straps. Of course, you see I got windshield washing fluid in there. So, uh, towels and stuff. And stuff in there. So, these are things you're going to need when you go out there on the road and you're doing it yourself. Yeah, we can't send the cheese. Anywho. Uh, those are the things that you're going to need. Um, like I said, first, I just want you guys to be safe and prepared. 